slide. Hi, how's it going? All right, Sam. Uh, yeah. Jake Melton, RTI. I'm sorry, we missed with you. That's sweet. Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't didn't recognize your face. <laughs> no, I'm with Ned Sweet. Um, how are you doing? You know, I'm doing all right. Got a lot of busy work, uh, pack day, but you know, I understand. I, we talked last week. Is that? Is yes, that that's correct. You told me you have 20 minutes or so for us to talk and. Uh, Go over some of the things that uh, you do here at RTI. Yeah, yeah, I still got time. Let's let's make it quick. I'm trying to get out of here a little early, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. What you going to do? Doing a little golf. A little golf. golf huh? More business though. It's more business. It always is. Yes, sir. That's awesome. You a good player? Uh, all right. I just get out there and have some fun. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Yeah. You play at all? Uh, I guess you can call it playing. Or maybe that's exactly what you call it, just playing. Just playing. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at all. Just pick you out there and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a better runner than I am a, than I am a golfer. So, uh, Jeff Kaiser and I, we run a little bit together. Oh, We're okay. for a marathon. He's the one that set up the appointment. For yeah, oh, he did. Yeah, he sent me a ton of people, but, yeah, he, he's a good guy. Yeah. He, he needs to train for a few more marathons. He's getting kind of big, but... Yeah, he's still running surprisingly fast for a guy wow. his size, though. Wow. Really, it, it, it'll surprise you. Yeah, about the gate, I guess, right? I imagine so. I don't have it, but I guess he does. <laughs> um, what I wanted to do today was just talk to you a little bit about you, your position, uh, and the things that happen in the uh, sales force you've got going on here. Find out what's going on with the processes and uh, see if my company can benefit you in any way. Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. That sounds okay. I'll yeah. try to keep it within, you still have 20 minutes, 15, yeah, what are we looking 15, at? 15, 20. Okay, I'll try to keep it short. I have to look Appreciate at my uh, at my clock. That's not being rude. I just want to get you out of here when you want to get out of here. Thank you, I okay? appreciate it. Not a problem. So, you're telling me it's another busy, crazy week. Another crazy week, yeah. Yeah, what does that kind of week look like for you? Well, you know, I get in here every day and I'm the VP of sales and marketing, so I am the one in the charge job. of bringing in the money around here. So I guess I get in and I work every day that everything I can do is just trying to bring more value to the company so we can keep on growing at the rates we have them. And what would that be? Well, you know, we usually about to do about 20% every year, so we're looking, about, awesome. yeah, we're looking to do that this year as well. Okay, that's good growth. You're looking to do that? I mean, that's what you want to do, or that's what you... Yeah, yeah this is not projected, you know, projected we were only about five, but, you know, you know RTI is an industry leader, so I think we're... You know, I don't. Uh, I did not know you guys were an industry leader. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't do my homework. Ah, really? Today. But, uh... Uh, the industry leader doing what? Yeah, we're in the oil refinement. Yeah, we service okay. a lot of customers, you know, names, I don't know. Like Exxon? No, uh, cooking oil. Oh, cooking oil. Yeah, gotcha. some, some gotcha. of the small companies that we service, you know, names, I don't know if you've heard of them, maybe like McDonald's or Jack in the Box. I have heard of those yeah, guys. Yeah, a couple of those yeah. guys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do, we do that for them, corporate. One of our biggest clients is the Texas Rangers. Wow, so, I love baseball. Yeah. Okay, so um, oil refining. Can you tell me exactly what that entails? How do you? I mean, is it just an oil delivery sure. system? Or? Yeah, well, we're on the we're on the fulfillment and replenishment end. So what we do is we have a, a system that comes in and it, you know cooks up their cooking oil, makes manufacturers their cooking oil, and then we have a fleet of trucks and services that come in. It's a pretty relatively quick and easy system. There's a gauge outside, plug in our hoses, and chuck it into oil. a gauge? Yep, right outside. Well, well, not a gauge, but a little, you know. Stick it, you Stick it. There you go. Like from water in the summer, when you're hot, playing baseball outside, you just go get a drink of... And all we're doing is plugging in a hose and pumping some oil in. So it's easy, it's awesome. Okay. What do you do with it when it's old? Well, we take it and then we have to dispose of it. We have a separate company that we use. Oh, yes. yeah. Where you just go to a landfill or no no i'm actually not sure on where it goes it's kind of a okay disposal end so okay you're just sales so right i got you i got you and it's good to be focused on one specific part of the company makes no um, matter what i do well how good are you at what you do because 
I mean, you seemed a little hesitant when talking about growth a little while ago. You said typically you're 20%. Yeah. Is that what you expect to see going forward? Yeah, um, I mean, that's what we want going forward. Okay. And, uh, you know, to get back to your question, I am very good at what I do. You know, right. Okay. I've been that's a company good. for 30 years, so. And wow, that, that's a long that time. That explains it for itself. So. How long has the company been around? I've been with it since its founding. So we've been around for 30 years, and I was actually our first salesman. So I've worked my way up from the bottom, and I've been here, and I know all about the company. So, well, I, I, I'd say I've earned my spot, if you will. I apologize for uh, questioning your credentials. That's Sounds right. very impressive. Very That's impressive. right. No worries. Um, now, we were talking about this growth. Um, yeah. I, I think you're kind of skirting my question. You expect 20% next year? We don't expect 20%. We are only expecting about 5%. But with that, with that being said, we are in a lot of markets right now, so okay. we're happy um, with that. Five percent from what? Well, last year we did ten, but the previous years we've had as high as twenty percent. That's you know really desirable. Yeah, that's that's your growth and everything. I was I was saying you know five percent growth over what oh, sales? Oh, over about twenty two hundred million in revenue. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's what we bring in annually. What kind of sales force do you need to manage that sort of revenue? Yeah, we've got 200 salespeople, or 200 and actually, I think we're up to 210 this year. Yeah, with that new market we're going into, so. Okay. And then we've got 10 regional managers, and those are the people that report to me and kind of fill me okay. in. Okay. Okay. Uh, you say they report to you and, and fill you in on what's going on? Yeah, kind of keep me up to date on everything. Okay, do you, you have to ask for those reports? You know, call them, hey, can you send me what's going on this week? Or No, we've actually got a pretty automated system for it. We actually are using the CRM system, uh, wow. Salesforce. Salesforce, yeah. all right. Uh, I assume they do a pretty good job of keeping you informed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, got you know, real good, real good idea of, you know, what people are doing at the moment. And if I really wanted to, I could see the leads that, you know, an individual salesperson is going after. So I, I would say I'm very happy with that system. It's really good. That's awesome. That sounds, sounds good. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, you said you expect to see 5% growth, but you want to see more than that. Uh, what kind of strategy do you have in place to get you to higher than five percent is there yeah. something that's going to take you there yeah that's a good question we uh we're actually going into a new market you know like i said we uh are servicing the rangers but right now that's our only company right there uh one of our biggest markets that we see potential for is in dallas fort worth so you're moving into a new so market okay going into the dfw area and there's awesome. a lot of opportunity there i hear it's a very fast growing area very much so yes yeah, you've done your homework on that um and you've got the Rangers there. Uh, how do you plan to get these new leads for your salesman? Well, you know, I, I'm pretty happy right now with our system, uh, Salesforce, that kind of has got an automatic lead qualification for our guys. But yeah, but what, you know, one of my biggest concerns, I guess, would be just our salespeople, the number of people that we have in the area. You know, it's, it's a very big state, and there's a lot of area to cover for them, so yeah. sure. And I imagine your salespeople not, not being uh, familiar with the area would have a hard time uh, navigating the area and getting yeah. their correct customers. Yeah, you know, part of part of being in sales is you gotta travel, you know. So our salespeople they you know they know that before they come on that traveling is definitely part of the job and in you know bigger states like Texas then they're probably gonna be doing a little bit more traveling. I understand that, okay. Uh, how do you as a salesman as they travel stay connected? and keep the reporting up with you from a distance? Well, I, I would say our salespeople would go into the CRM system. I'm not exactly sure when they do that. As okay. part of the sales call or before or after. Or I'm not really sure how they do that, but I would imagine they just use that CRM system and that's kind of what gives me the visibility that I have. Okay. And what visibility is that? Well, it's very good. I mean, I've got a good idea of everything that's going on all at once, so. What is going on? I mean, I, just to clarify a little bit, I mean, how does that sales process work? I mean, from lead generation to closing okay. the sale, how does that process work? Yeah, we, uh, we've we got our salespeople, will, like I said, Salesforce is pretty good at qualifying the leads. Mm -hmm. So then they will pick, pick, pick a customer that they think that would be, you know, a good potential client of ours. 
then they'll go out and have, you know, meetings are usually three to four hours, and then, you know, one of our recent projections, unfortunately, is that our salespeople could be spending up to one or two hours driving per day, and then they come back, and then that's usually when they use that CRM system and input the data that I okay. can see. All right. Um, so that's a couple hours a day. Is that uh, one way or is that complete training? No, it's usually about one way, hour each way. So okay, so it looks like two hours a day for salesmen. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. And that's the reason. That's the whole reason they come back in is to input data and yeah, they go back into the office and they, yeah, check in with their managers and you know they've got tasks that they have to do at the office sure. as well. It's not just meetings, you know. Okay. Um, Wow, two hours a day, that's, uh, that's a lot of time. Right, and you know, we're looking at 10 hours a week. Uh, how many hours a week do you think your salesman put in? I'd say they all do about, I'd say they just do about 40. We've got 10 salesmen in the area. Okay. Yeah, so. That's, that's a pretty good work week for a salesman. I think a lot of salesmen work 50, 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. That's, yeah. I'd be pretty happy with that about salesman. You know, if I could get my numbers and whatnot. So you're looking at 10% of their work week right there. That's, um, yes, it is 10%, yeah. Yeah, but if you don't mind, what sort of sales revenue does each of your sales, uh, your sales people, what do they manage? I mean, what are they, they're pulling in uh, how much well, annually? Yeah, each, each one of our sales people has got about anywhere from five, about 500 customers. 500 customers? Yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? Doing all right, bro. Pretty good. Get out. Get out. Oh, get out. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 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 No, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry about that. No, that's cool. That's easy. Jeff Keisel, he's, I mean, he walks in where he wants to. He runs right. the place, right? right? Yeah, you, you, we'll be out in a minute, Jeff. I mean, if you'd like to come back in, you can sit with us. Uh, no? Okay. Better off without him. Yeah, yeah. But yes, well, yeah, to get back to what you're saying, you know, our, each, each salesperson's got about 500 customers, so you know they're they're bringing in two thousand dollars, you know, per customer. So they're they're managing a lot of money there. Okay, yes, I imagine. So, um, how many how many how many customers do you think your salespeople see in a week? I would say anywhere from about five to ten. I would say to try to get in a week. Okay. So if they're spending forty hours. Uh, we're looking at four hours per customer. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, losing 10 hours a week. It's two and a half customers a week, right? Yes, you'd say that. Okay. Know. Yeah. So two and a half customers on average. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, $2,000 a customer. You know, uh, well, that comes out to $10,000 per salesman. That they could be, uh, that they're losing if they that through their travel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. Wow. Over a sales force, how many? Well, we got two hundred ten now. So two hundred ten. Wow. What's that? What, I'm not very good at math. What's uh, two hundred ten times ten thousand? That's like twenty one million dollars, probably. Oh, that's uh, that's a that's a whole lot, isn't it? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is, and, and I guess that comes out to be about 10% of your revenue. So if you could get that back, what would 10% of your revenue added on to the end, which I guess could be translated into growth, uh, what would an additional 10% do for you? Well, we'd be almost doubling, you know, sure, in five years at that rate, you know what I mean? So that'd be, that'd be huge, you know, 20, 15, 20% yeah. growth is, Definitely something that we want to get back to. Okay, well, that's that's yeah, that's definitely something you might need to look at, huh? Um, what happens if you can't get that recovered? Well, there'd be a lot of things. I mean, for starters, we have to leave this Texas market, and you know there is a lot of opportunity here. So if, you know if you're not growing, I don't think you're doing it right. So right, right. I think uh, you know, that's probably the goal of most most companies is growth. Uh, as Jeffrey. Let you know that that was important to him. Or? Yeah, no, he is very, very adamant that we get that growth up to sure. at least ten percent. That needs sure. to be He's adamant about that. That's our yeah, that's our bare minimum there. So well, that that leads me to believe it's very important to him. 
you say you started this company with him, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's extremely important to me as well. I mean, if it's, you know, Jeff is, you know, he's the CEO, so, you know, when he's adamant about that, you know, that's gotta be my goal is to yeah, I mean, and make sure that we are hitting those numbers. Yeah, and and I, I don't mean to be too forward or, or be too presumptuous, but I would think the personal connection between you and Jeffrey is probably pretty close, isn't it? I mean, you guys are fairly tight, right? You haven't brought this thing all the way up from scratch. We are very close friends, yes. Yeah. Imagine you hate to have to let him down and not produce the numbers that... that yeah, I'm not only letting him down, you know, I won't be hitting my own numbers, so... Sure. Well, what... Hitting your numbers, what does that do for you? You know, I get my bonus at the end of the year, and all right. our salespeople get their bonuses, and company's still growing. And what's the bonus look like for you? Say you hit your numbers, what's that bonus look like? Well, I don't know if I want to disclose that right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll get back to where sorry. I was going. With this. No, no, that's fine. I mean, you know, sometimes it get a little too personal with the question. Yeah, no, it's kind of, it fluctuates from year to year, I'll tell you that, so it's, yeah. Well, it's a risk of getting personal again. What do you do with your bonus? You know, if that's not something you want to answer, that's fine, but. Let's just say I need it. You know, I'm counting on that okay. bonus every year. It hasn't been a year I haven't received my bonus, so I'm I'm counting on it. Right, I work off commission. I understand bonuses and whatnot. Uh, my wife gets mine. You know, I never see a penny of it. But Usually how it goes in my house as well. So yeah, I do you hear it when she doesn't get it done. She has, sir. I know I do. Yep. And, and, if there's anything more important to me than getting advice, just keeping her quiet yeah. it drives me nuts. But anyway, um, going back to what we we're talking about, uh, your current system that you work with, you say you're very happy with it. Mm -hmm. However, it does not permit your salespeople to input data and reports uh, remotely. Yeah. They have to come back and do that. Yeah. And that costs them 10% of their work week. Is that correct? Is that what you were telling me a little while ago? Yeah, I never really thought of it that way, but yeah, that is, I guess that, yeah. that is, they and would really benefit from that more. Sure, they would, and you would, and Jeff would, and RTI would. Sure. Uh, basically, from what you've told me, this 10% is absolutely critical to your company's success. You making the numbers and Jeff being happy with, with what's going on here. Is that correct? That is correct. I would think that that finding a method for retrieving that 10% would be a priority for you. That would be critical to your success. That is my number one priority. Okay. And uh, I guess not getting that back would, uh, what would that do? So I really hurt, like we said, you know, it'd be, it'd be rough. Yeah, okay. Well, if I was to have a method for regaining that 10%, if I had that magic wand, that uh, that, that magic bean we can plant in the ground and, and get you that productivity or efficiency back, would you want to hear about that? Yeah, I think we can take a, take a look at some alternatives, maybe. Okay, that'd be great. Um, like I say, today we were just here talking about some things, getting to know you and the company. Uh, can we set up an appointment? Yeah, let's do uh, next Thursday at 2. How about that? Sounds great.